Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Shadows of the Underworld by Sleepy Eyes Nolan Blackwood stared out into the grimy streets of the city from the rain-streaked window of his barely furnished office, the so-called starting line of his nascent detective career. As he watched life's raw portrayal of vice and vulnerability, he felt a sense of anxious determination prickling his veins. He was eager to tip the scales of justice. His apprehensive anticipation was akin to the sensation every rookie experiences when they are about to prove themselves. Besides his natural acumen, what truly set Nolan apart was his uncommon knack for keen observation and quick thinking. Within days of his appointment, he was plunged headlong into the heart of the city's underbelly, a belly that beat with the pulse of an illegal fight club. Toughened men and down-on-their-luck city dwellers were being exploited, their spirits manacled by the cruel cabal that operated in the shadows of this brutal business. Nolan's mission was clear, uncover the deeds of darkness, expose the operation, and put an end to the torment. Veiled by the night, Nolan discreetly surveyed the fight club from an unassuming distance. The warehouse's cracked concrete, cold and unwelcoming, reflected the coldness of the ring inside. The walls oozed with the sickly poison of malevolence, the air heavy with suppressed dread. Inside the pit each night, amidst the shouts that formed the inharmonious orchestra of human despair, Nolan watched with hardened eyes and a set jaw. He observed the exact moment when the light left a fighter's eyes as he was brought to his knees, the moment of realization that they had traded their dignity for a mere chance at survival. The sight rattled Nolan, his gut churning with a mix of anger and pity, however, with every punch he witnessed, he grew more resolute. The keen observer within Nolan took mental snapshots. Each detail was a piece in this morbid puzzle, a lead to trace the puppeteers of this wicked show. He walked amongst the spectators, enfolding himself in their shadows. He listened to their whispers, analyzed their body language, drew invisible connections in his mind, and forged alliances where he could. His quick wit and silver tongue won him both valuable information and a measure of respect. One evening, in the midst of the bloodied roar of the fight club, Nolan found his foot planted firmly on a wayward trail. A man named Joey the Jinx with more scars than unblemished skin, a frequenter at these fights, tipped him off about the boss rumored to be orchestrating everything from behind the operation, a trail of breadcrumbs, a passing word here, a sidelong glance there, pointed towards the boss. Grasping the brass ring, Nolan plowed onwards, his resolve searing as brightly as the neon lights of the city's horizon. Accompanied by escalating risks, his meticulous unraveling of the mystery brought him toe-to-toe -to -toe with hired muscle and cheap thugs, Every narrow escape, a test passed for Nolan, battling his inner demons of fear and doubt. He persevered, his faith, not in the complacent justice system, but in his own pursuit of truth, 
became his beacon. As he began closing in, each step forward was a carefully calculated risk. One wrong move, and his cover would be blown. It was a race with stakes higher than ever, a contest not of strength, but of wits and nerve. Engaging in this treacherous tango with crime, Nolan thrived. The city's darkness became his shroud as he navigated its treacherous labyrinth with a quiet fortitude. He was no longer an outsider looking in. He was the ghost in the shadows, the herald of justice amidst chaos. Despite the grim backdrop, Nolan's journey teemed with small triumphs. Each moment solidified his purpose, forming an impermeable shell around him. In Nolan Blackwood, the city found an ally in their fight against the cruelty of the underworld, a beacon in the chaos, a true guardian in the making. Nolan Blackwood's introduction was bold, unwavering, and unforgettable.